Phoenix Systems, patented tools for the perfect brake job. Here is what you will need to do the V12 rebuild. You will need your V12 tool, a flathead screwdriver, a wrench and a pick, a towel and some lubrication, and your V12 rebuild kit. Make sure that you have the following parts in your kit before you continue. You should have in your kit a cylinder, a check valve, and a piston felt washer and an O-ring. If you are doing the petroleum pump, the kit also contained a special O-ring for that. If you are missing any of these parts, please contact Phoenix Systems at 866-875-5688. The first thing we are going to do is take the cylinder off. To do this, you must depress the lever to reveal the whole cylinder. Twist the cylinder off the handle and reveal the piston push rod. Wiggle the cylinder until it pops off the piston push rod. Next, twist the black end cap off. Grab the handle and pull the lever back to reveal the piston push rod and remove the white felt washer and use the pick to remove the black O-ring. Now use the pick to remove the check valve in the tip of the piston push rod. This may be a little tricky. It may come apart and that is okay. Make sure you get all three pieces out. Now the V12 is disassembled. Reassembling the V12 with the rebuild kit. The first thing you will do is install the check valve. Put the beveled end in first. Make sure to push it in as far as it will go. Then pull the lever back and press the check valve against a solid surface into the end of the piston push rod until you hear a snap. Next, grab the white felt washer. Pull the lever back on the handle and install the washer into the second groove on the piston head. Push it into the groove. It works best to place one end into the groove and hold it with your finger and continue your way around the piston head. Now take the black O-ring and install it in the first groove. Dip your finger into some lubrication. Here we are using brake fluid. Then wipe it around the piston head and the newly installed O-ring. Grab the cylinder and slide it over the piston head and into the handle making sure that you are not cross-threading the cylinder as you twist it into the handle. Tighten that down and give the lever a couple of squeezes to make sure it is functioning properly. Finally, reattach the end cap. There you have it, a fully rebuilt V12 brake bleeder. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at 866-875-5688. Phoenix Systems, patented tools for the perfect brake job.